Guys, if you're in New Jersey, you'll probably know Six Flags for Adventure. But this is the first episode of Outside of KEW. I'm with Nickonomics. We are here looking at some animals. We're going to make some future videos. Just decided to delete some videos. We're going to make this one. Okay, on our left. Here is the fallow deer. The fallow deer is from southern Europe. They're a cousin of our white-tailed deer. What's up, boys? See those pretty spots on them? They keep those spots for their whole life. Our white-tailed deer are born with them, but they lose them after two to four months. Look in the water. Those are the Roosevelt elk. They're the second largest animal in North America. Look at that antlers on the males. Antlers. That means they're good for one season. By November, said they are the number two in the North America, because that's the number one right there. This is the American bison. They are the largest animal in North America. And look at the babies. We got a lot of babies. They're born rust color. After about four to six months, they start turning brown. Imagine if John Cena could look right at that here, thing. Right here and right over here. He said they're the largest animals Look at the big North bull America. up on top uh, of the hill. Yeah. We can name large the, 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 the blue whale, so I'm pretty sure he means mammal. But guess what? He can't because the blue whale is also a mammal, so we don't know his facts. The females, the head is long Elephant. and narrow. Elephant. Giraffe? Well, I mean... Elephants. Well, giraffes are, are shedding their, but not. Shedding their are elephants in America? Most of them have completely yeah. shedded. Well, I mean, it's, there's the African, there's the Asian. No, but they're in Africa. Now, Africanic. let me tell you something. That's like, what that is. That no, Congress last year yeah. passed a law you know naming the American bison our national mammal. We've never had one. We have the bald eagle as our national symbol and the bison as our national animal. animal. We animal. run that because we have both of them on this part. Hey, Vega. Oh, she's a little poop. You see a little poop. Oh, oh, look at all these little poops on the boat. Oh, it's buffalo Buffalo Wild Food. Oh, that's what I would love to go to, to, get, my, to get my ice cream. Where do we go? Right, Buffalo Wild Food. Yeah, that's my team. Short flight that's Edison, New Jersey's no team. Yeah, it is. No the Wild Foods. I am very sorry, Sesame Street, but that's the real big bird over there. That is a male ostrich. Those feathers with white tips. That animal, that bird, can get up to eight feet tall and weigh over three feet. Sorry if you didn't see it. Some people are just blocking it. Another one over there. Another one. Don't you know, girl? I'm trying to find that All right. Wait, guys. Wait, wait. Doesn't he said, said, said that was the largest you animal. <laughs> sure. And I say that with a lot of respect. We have seven African elephants on the park. The six that are out here today have been with this park since we opened in 1974. Actually, they came here a couple of years before when we started when we started building it. One of these ladies is 59 years old. She's right over there. The second one, the big one, right over there. Her name is Lucy. She's waving her ears at you, folks. Lucy's the matriarch. She's the boss of the herd. Every elephant herd in the <laughs> wild rock. has a you matriarch, a boss. It's no, always a female, the and pooping. it's usually the oldest and largest you female. People saw his butt too. The males are in the rear or in a separate bachelor herd. He said rear. <laughs> Take a look over on this side. We have a female ostrich here sitting on a nest. She's got about 15 eggs underneath her. In about 20 to 25 days, we're so going to have a lot of little ostrich. Th this is a better view. Here. This is like you. And they're so cute uh, about that thing. Oh, come on, new zebra. Oh. We're going to miss it. All right. Their hide is very sensitive to the sun. They actually get sunburned underneath the hide. 
So they'll throw oh, dirt sad. and mud and hay up. We have white rhinos. Now, I know they're not white, they're gray. <laughs> they get their name from their mouth. They have a wide mouth. In an African dialect, the word wide sounded like white, so the original Dutch settlers called them white rhinos. These are grant zebras. Look at the stripes on them, folks. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. The hide is a dark brown color with white stripes. Don't worry, I got an animal. is different. They're no, no, like a fingerprint. Hey, boy! Oh, RKO, you boy! Yes. I, just, I just told an ostrich I was going to... It's go. one of our Asian water buck. Fred's getting fed. Fred's getting fed right there. What is that? Pelican? I'll never see that. There he is. That's Freddy. Freddy's a marabou star. Fred, you rock, but what? He's not too impressive until he opens those wings. <laughs> look at these babies. Now, Asian water buffalo. Dude, there look. they all are. They're just laying. They spend about 80% of their time in How the water. How we feel in the summer. They come out to eat, and they're that light brown color. As they get older, they turn darker, like the guy in the middle is starting to turn darker. That's... The mature males are jet black, hence the name black buck. That little animal is one of the fastest things on four legs. They can sprint up over 50 miles an hour. And still there, Sharon. Our American bison. I have a question for everybody. You ready? Can peacocks fly? No. no. And how did that one get in the tree right over there? It climbed. No, he didn't jump up or slide up. He flew up right there. Peacocks can fly. They make their nests up in trees, sometimes on our barn. See the tail hanging down? Uh, I see now, that tail. They're not tail flying away. far, folks. They're flying up to the nest and back to the ground. Right there. Hey, boy. Now you can see them. Hanging boy. under the branches right there. Oh, never eating. You're the goat, you're the greatest of all time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a good chance. These are Oryx, a desert dweller, right there. By the way, folks, my bosses think I'm crazy, but doesn't that animal look like it's wearing a gray tuxedo with the spats and the cuffs? No? Or yes? Yes, okay. The other animal on the other side is the ellipsis water buck. It gets the name of lips from the white circle on their rear end. Water buck because they can swim. They will go in the water to get away from a predator. Now, who wants to see the short guys? Me! Guys. I like babies. 16 to 18 feet tall, 2,000 to 3,000 pounds. Ostrich, boy! Come here, boy! Take a picture, boy. And the first one, with, by the way, we have four babies. Three of the babies are out here. One of the babies is inside the park for you to see. Oh, here comes the big giraffe. By the way, you see her chewing? You better be careful. She's chewing a ball of grass. She loves to put her head in and drop it. <laughs> I'm teasing, folks. I'm teasing. It's right there. Look at the legs on him. There's Most one of you can take walk a look at that meat. him without ah. touching because those legs are over six feet long. And here we go. By the way, ladies, ladies, would you like to have her have her eyelashes? 